Hi everyone. Trust we're doing well today and keeping safe. My name is Foy and I'll be running us through the session talking about building dynamic and transformational communities. I'd like to say a big thank you to Dynamics Con for putting together this amazing event and making it totally free. It's full of amazing content, super speakers, and it's really, really a great thing to be a part of it. I'd like to say a big thank you to Dynamics Con for putting together this amazing event and making it totally free. It's full of amazing content, super speakers, and it's really, really a great thing to be a part of it. I say a big thank you for the opportunity to be a speaker also in this event and to talk about something that I'm so passionate about. All right, thank you again for attending my session and I'm sure we're gonna have a great time together. So let's get started. I'm going to speak to us briefly about building transformational communities. I started community here in Lagos, Nigeria, a couple of months back, and we've been able to grow very quickly within about seven to eight months from two people to 1,200. And I want to talk about our special community and what, our, what, what made us grow in such a dynamic way. My name is Foy. Uh, I'm Microsoft MVP and I'm, I'm a wife, I'm a mom. I am also a community leader for the Power Platform User Group here in Nigeria. I am a speaker at events and I'm also a Microsoft Certified Professional in a couple of areas. That's, that's my Twitter handle there. Okay, so I want to start off talking about myself and my journey into the Power Platform. Um, I started out my career a couple of years ago, and I started from the SharePoint side of things, collaboration and the automation space. So then we collaborate using InfoPath and SharePoint Designer and all of those old tools that we had. So fast forward to 2010, we had, we had in fact been released with Microsoft Office and when Microsoft Office 2013 was released, we we didn't see, um, we saw InfoPath in 2013 and when 2016 was released, we didn't see InfoPath there. So we all wondered, okay, what's next? Like, is Microsoft just gonna throw InfoPath out of the window and leave us hanging without any, without any replacement? And I got to hear about Power Apps um, last year from a friend who I was talking to and saying, oh, what's going on with InfoPath? We're not seeing InfoPath again. Office 2019 has been released. You know, what does Microsoft have in mind? And said, oh, there's this cool tool called Power Apps. And it's, you, you can get started with it. And I was like, okay, how do I access Power Apps? I don't know. Am I licensed for it? How much do I have to pay? And says, oh, no, you're licensed already. Once you have access to Office 365, you have Power Apps and you can get started immediately. So I made a decision to say, my next process and my next app request is going to be done on Power Apps. And I got my first request and I started out with Power Apps and Power Automate. And I was totally thrilled with how quickly and how easily I was able to create the app and how, um, how satisfied my customers were. And since that day going forward, I never went back to InfoPath. So that's basically how I got started. Now let's talk about the community. How did we get started? We, um, the Power BI community started in August last year um, and it's called Live Labs. So they have, they have monthly sessions where they teach community members how to use Power BI and how to build dashboards and how to do data modeling and all of that around data. I got started about the same time, last shortly after them, last year in October, and how did it all get started? I went for an event um, in Microsoft Office and I discovered that I was trying to learn the, the, the tool. So my friend told me about the tool. I got started my first app and I was learning, you know, on my own self-taught as I went along the way. But of course I had some issues where I, I didn't even know how to run the search in the browser to say, okay, I'm trying to do this and how do I do it? I discovered that there were a lot of other people 
who had similar issues. So what, what I did was, oh, fine. So we're all here struggling on our own. Why don't we come together and start up our own local community where we can support each other? So if I've gone through um, this issue before, you don't have to spend a number, a number of hours trying to resolve it on your own, right? Just ask the questions and I let you know the answer immediately because I've gone through it already. So that's how I started out the community with two people and then we started to grow from two and we're currently 1,200 on Telegram. We had to move out of WhatsApp because we were hitting the limits on WhatsApp. Um, yes, that's really how the community started and we had our first meetup with over 40 people turned out. I was so excited because I was, um, it's actually the first meetup we had and I had organized everything and I was wondering, okay, will people come? Why is everybody, you know, setting up reminders and all and 40 people showed up. And we also had the power addicts and the power champs support us remotely from different areas, answering our questions during the Q&A session. So that was really exciting and that was how um, the community got started. But how did we reach our growth, amazing growth rates, is the power of unity. So I started out the Power Apps and Power Automate user group in October, and the Power BI group started in August, just before me. And we kind of connected with each other, we discovered, oh, you're doing Power Apps and Power Automate, oh, we're doing Power BI, okay, let's come together and form the Power Platform Nigeria user group. And we gave ourselves a big hug and had an event in February of this year where it was a combined event of both user groups and the students user groups also here in Lagos. And we had over 250 people in attendance, IC Pro students, all passionate about the Power Platform and wanting to know more about how they can use the Power Platform. So I'm going to play a short video now. Okay, so that was our amazing event, the Global Power Platform Camp, which was held here in Lagos, Nigeria, February of this year. So moving on, so what happens is when we meet in this way, the people who come to our meetings and our, our community events get so inspired that they want to start up a user group in their local community or their local school. So we have a lead like Adewale Yusuf, who got to know about the Power Platform, got so passionate, and went back to Oyo States, one of the states here in Nigeria, to start up a, user, a local user group there. We have another passionate leader, David, who schooled in Edo States, and when he got to know about the um, Power Platform, attended our meetup, he got really inspired, and said, so, you know what, I would like to help people for, in my locality where I live, where, where I'm from. And then he went back to Edo State here in, in, in Nigeria to start up a local user group there. We also have a local user group in Abuja, which started shortly after the Lagos events last year. We have Kajri in Abuja, who's also very passionate and very excited about the platform. I said, you know what, I'm offering to start up a user group in Abuja, and I'm going to drive this user group myself. So all of these passionate people, like they come, it's like it's like a fire. They come and get ignite, they, they get the fire, and they go back and want to like just spread it and spread the word about the platform, how transformational it is, 
how you can use it to get more efficient, do more, more less, and basically everything about it. And we also have our student partners who are driving the Power Platform Initiative in their, in, in their schools also. So within the student community, we have Japlet, we have Shisong, we have Ulumide who are driving this Power Platform, uh, the Power Platform in their schools. So we have this amazing student partners who are driving the Power Platform in their schools. So they are constantly having user sessions, constantly connecting with the fellow students and teaching them how they can get started with the Power Platform. So all of this com combined together is one of the things that has made the user group grow so quickly. Because it's not really about one person doing, doing, doing it all, but we have an amazing team of leaders who are starting local user groups in their areas, in their regions, in their local communities, and also in their schools. I'll talk a bit about Textilers. Textilers is a community for women, not just here in Nigeria, but globally. So in my work as a leader in the community, I discovered that our presence, our female representation is low, right? So when I, whenever we have call for speakers, whenever we have, um, events and opportunities for people to speak. Even in the leadership team, we see that a lot of women are not coming up. A lot of women are not um, like signing the form for speakers, for volunteers. So I guess it's probably because maybe women, especially in this side of the world, are like overwhelmed with a lot of things and they really do not see the need to be very active in the community. And also, some of these women are knowledgeable, they know these tools, but there's the imposter syndrome where am I sure I know enough? What do I want to say? Who's going to listen to me? Um, there are so many amazing people out there, and I don't think that I match up to them. So I'd rather just stay in my little corner in my stuff. But I also started out textile as where I felt that the need for women supporting women, so both for those who want to start out the career and they don't really know how to get started in technology, to the women who are doing um, stuff with old technology that is fading out and they need to start on with emerging tech, and also even to the women who are established, who know their, their, their stuff, textiles is for everyone because we're all supporting each other to grow and to learn. So textile is also a part of um, the community work that I do. And I'm also very passionate about helping women and helping young girls. And I've seen a lot of ladies emerge in creating their first applications, automating their first processes, even those from non-tech backgrounds going back to their offices and they are able to solve a pressing problem by themselves. Like this is totally amazing. And we find I find complete fulfillment in doing this. Okay, so what are our secret tips, right? How did we grow from two to 1,200 in a couple of months? How have we sustained engagement? How have we kept the community going? What is it that we do that makes this happen? So I'll share a few of the tips um, next. So we have a desire to share knowledge. That's one of the major things. There's this point desire in every member of the community to say it's not enough for me to know but I also, I want to know, and I want to share this knowledge with the next person. I want to learn something new, and I want to teach the next person about this new thing that I've learned. So that's one of, one of our secrets, our success secrets. The next thing is our desire to make impact, right? So I, I just, I, I don't want to sit in my little space and doing my own thing. I actually want to make an impact. I want to make a difference. I want to help the next person. And I want to be part of the person's, this next person's success story. So we find that this is common in our local community, which is one of the reasons why you see people more, um, trans, um, transferring. So they get the knowledge and they want to go out there to make impact. So you see someone offering, oh, let's start a local, a local user group in my state where I'm from. I want to help the youth of that state to, to get this knowledge and get a future from it. I want to go back to where I schooled. I want to help the students there 
you see people you see our community members saying i want to go back to to where i am now in my own school where I, where i still am i want to help the students get this knowledge so there's that desire to make impact within the community members and unity unity is a big secret because we decided to work together like the power apps and power automate user group and the power bi user group or like we're all part of the same power platform family so are we having separate user groups let's just have one single user group and let's drive our content and our knowledge sharing and our engagements together so that really helped our growth as a as the power platform user group here in nigeria and the leadership we have an amazing we have amazing sets of leaders who are very passionate about what we do right we can i can never do this alone and if if i was doing it alone, i'll probably have been exhausted by now but we have an amazing leadership team we have someone in charge of our social media handle who's constantly tweeting and driving the engagement on our social channels we have another leader who's in charge of all our creative work who's constantly producing the our creative ads for each of our meetups we have a leader in charge of content who's constantly looking out for what's important what's the relevant content that the community needs what do we need to talk about in our next meetup and we also have someone who's in charge of our media so ensuring that all our sessions are properly recorded it's edited properly it's uploaded properly so we have like different roles and we're all working together very closely to make sure that nothing drops so yes so that's another another secret is it very important if you're running a local user group not to do it alone because you can never do it alone it's important to find people that are passionate about the community as much as you are and who are ready to support you to achieve the goal of growing and helping and supporting people in the community and once you identify those people it's important to also give them responsibility and let them take charge of that space that you have given to them of, of course commitment all our leaders are 100 percent com committed to the work of the community like i've had one of the leaders on the hospital bed and she's sending tweets for our meetup because she just doesn't see herself giving an excuse to say oh i'm ill and I couldn't send out a communication for the event. And I absolutely didn't know. When I realized this, I was like, you, you you, didn't have to do that, right? You could have just told me you were not feeling well and we could have gotten somebody else to do it. But that's the level of commitment that these leaders show to the community work. Now, what's the call to action, right? The call to action for everyone on this session today is set up a system developer academy. If you're working in an organization and you currently do not use the Power Platform at all and you have an Office 365 tenant, I think that that's an opportunity for you to set up an academy within your organization and start to upskill people. Yeah, it's not enough for you to upskill yourself, but it's important to upskill the next person beside you. Like I asked myself, why should I upskill myself alone? Why should every other person not know how to use these tools and how to solve their own problems? So I think that my call to action for this session, everyone listening is set up a system developer academy in your organization. And my second call to action is stay connected to the community, right? Don't isolate yourself. Don't be a genius on your own. I think it's important to stay connected to the, to your, to the community join the local user group today find out if you're not a member of any local user group find out about the power platform local your um, user groups in your environment or it's dynamics um crm whatever local user group technology that interests you get connected to your local user group today and respond to a call a call for speaker also today don't feel that you don't know enough trust me you know a lot and you have so much to give beyond your imagination. But if you sit right there in your little space, how will we know what it is that you want? So take a call, go on. A lot of, a lot of call for speakers, 
continuously <laughs> on Twitter. So pick up a call for speaker today, sign up, put in your session title, and you will be amazed at how how excited everyone will be listening to you and listening to the stuff that you're made that you have and that you're ready to present. And also sign up for a volunteer opportunity today. So we have calls for volunteers all the time for local community events, for local meetups. So once you come across any and you have some time, I think you should also sign up to be a volunteer. The community is a very fantastic one. Everyone is willing to help and support. So I think that isolating yourself from the community you are completely missing out on a lot. I've made amazing friends by joining the community. I have had people help me when I'm stuck. Like I'm literally stuck in a meeting. I'm asked a question I have no answer to, and I need to give an answer, an answer at that moment. And I chat up someone in the community to say, please, you have an answer for this, and I get a response immediately. So if you're isolating yourself from the community, you're, you're completely like shortchanging yourself. You need to be active in the community so that you can get help and also help others. So I love the Power Platform so much. Um, I mean, this includes every other tool, like Dynamics and all, <laughs> because of the community number one, like I mentioned, there's so much love in the community. Everyone is so willing to help. I've, I've never experienced this, I mean, this amount, this type of, love and care from the community before which is why i'm encouraging us to get involved in the community today uh, i also see the power platform that is not just a technical tool but it's an agent of transformation i've experienced transformation myself i've seen myself go from just a support engineer to a decision maker a thought leader a strategic leader and this is because i learned how to use the tools to solve problems. So whenever a problem is being discussed, I'm being called to the table. How do we solve this problem very quickly? And I'm able to put in my two cents because I've been able to learn how to use the Power Platform tools. And I've seen the tool also support the employees to be more productive and to solve real life problems. So in the past, what would happen is an employee in functional group in a functional related role, we'll have a problem and we'll have to run to technology to say, oh, please, I have this problem. Can you help me build an app to solve it? But now what Power Apps and the Power Platform brings to the table is you have this problem, you, you are empowered to solve it yourself. So you don't, have it, you don't have to get into the waiting queue or the developers are doing so much and they're so busy and you just have this little problem to solve and there's no one to help you, you have to wait. What the power, what power platform has brought to play is you, you can solve this problem yourself because you now know how to use the tool. So I've seen and I've experienced employees in HR, in finance roles, in admin roles. I've seen them see their problems and build applications to solve them, which I find very, very amazing. And another thing the power platform tool does is it enables the unemployed so we have a lot of people who don't really know what to do after going to school and we've seen them learn how to use the power platform how they've been able to empower themselves and they currently have a tool that can help them to solve problems help them to get a job help them to to um, sign up for remote work like basically help them improve their lives better so that's why i love the power platform so much and that's why i'm going to remain an advocate of the power platform and that's why i'm a power ad thank you so much for attending my session today thank you for listening in and i would say loads of thanks to dynamics con for organizing this super event and for giving me the opportunity to be a speaker at this event all right, so you can join me in the conference chat if you have any questions. I'll be glad and happy to answer them.